Once an infrared measurement of a sample has been performed, there are multiple algorithms which may be used to identify the material. If the material is one of several expected materials, such as a situation where the FTIR is being used for raw material identification, typically an algorithm such as Perkin-Elmer's COMPARE algorithm is employed. The COMPARE algorithm will calculate the correlation between several user-measured reference spectra and the measured sample spectrum. The idea here is that the correlation will be some representation of degree of similarity between those reference spectra and the sample spectrum. It's generally accepted that a higher correlation value represents a closer match, a higher degree of similarity. And so the highest match is oftentimes taken as the true identity of the material, so long as it falls above a predefined threshold. And this threshold is adjustable by users in the software. In the event that the sample which has been analyzed is an unknown material, outside of the routine analysis of the lab, the sample spectrum is oftentimes searched against a wide range of infrared spectral libraries. This is a more dragnet approach, but as with the compare algorithm which I mentioned earlier, the degree of correlation between the sample spectrum and the reference library spectra are calculated. The results are sorted based on the correlation value with the idea that the most similar spectrum will rise to the top based on correlation. And this allows users to very quickly and easily identify unknown materials. For situations where a routine analysis must be performed on materials with some inherent acceptable variation, a different algorithm is oftentimes employed. Perkin-Elmer refers to this algorithm as the AssureID program. AssureID will employ the SIMCA algorithm, which is a principal components analysis. The principal components analysis allows the algorithm to characterize acceptable variation which is defined by user measured samples. By measuring a, a wide variety of samples, the user is able to train the algorithm what is acceptable variation in the sample composition. This allows users to confidently identify materials despite acceptable variation, which would otherwise confound the identification task when a simple compare correlation value is used.